Hi everybody. So today I decided to do something a little different. I decided to show you how I make um, Asian style soup. I thought, you know, it's self-isolation and you know, you can only crochet so much and then you got to make dinner. So I thought, well, let's show you how I cook this. I don't know if you're going to be interested, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> okay, so I'm using this pho broth. Okay, now it doesn't matter what kind of pho broth you use. And if you want to be ambitious and, and make your own, go for it. It takes two days to make though. <laughs> so I'm not that ambitious. So I've got three uh, boxes of pho broth. And these are... 946 milligrams okay and then I have let's see where should I start I'll start over here I've got some beef uh, steaks that I'm gonna cut up like really thinly sliced okay and then this is tripe now most people probably don't like tripe I like tripe so George doesn't <laughs> so I'm going to put that in my soup and not his now if you go to your local Asian store um, you will find these hand cut sliced meats now you can get pork beef uh, lamb um, and I decided to get lamb this time just for the heck of it but they're all pre-sliced and they come frozen so I'm going to put some of those in there and onion oh and the crows are talking to me and some fresh garlic and then we have some bean sprouts and carrots snap peas you have your rice or your uh, rice noodles okay I'm using rice sticks Okay, bok choy. I love bok choy. And then we've got hoisin sauce, oyster sauce, sesame oil, soya sauce, Chinese five spice, roasted sesame seed, now that's optional, and garlic. And Usually I'll put in um, the little cans of corn, like the corn, the, what do they call them, baby corns, and some chestnut, water chestnuts and stuff like that, but I didn't get any, so, because, you know, it's one of those things. You go to the store and you want what you want, but it's not there because we're all in isolation. <laughs> and don't forget your drink of choice. I'm drinking sangria. Yay! <laughs> okay, first things first. You're going to put your um, boxes of pho, uh, juice in your pot. And I'm going to just zoom you out just a little bit. Okay. And you just dump them in. You don't have to put water in these, um, but by the end of it, sometimes I end up doing that. But if you, the more water that you put in, the less you're going to taste um, your broth, right? Because you're going to end up watering it down too much. Now for the amount that I'm making, I should probably have used four boxes, but again, it's all they had, so you have to make do. Now if you don't, if you can't find the pho juice, use chicken or beef. I mean, it is, you know, just use what you can find. 
because when you uh, when you start putting in the sauces and all that, that's what's going to give you your flavor. So, okay, and we'll turn this on to about a meat between medium and medium high. And while you're doing this or warming this up, that's when you get all of your other stuff together. Okay, I like to chop up all my vegetables first. Okay, so you're going to chop up your um, bok choy. And now you you can either chop it all up or you can leave it as big um, leaves. But don't forget to wash these because they can have dirt in them. Okay, so put them in a strainer. All right. Okay. And just, just cut the end off. And then it just falls apart. Okay. So do that for all of your bok choy and I will see you when you're done. Okay now when you've rinsed all of your bok choy you can just set it aside and then you start your ginger. You can do up all your vegetables actually. If you want to keep your pea pods whole you can do that. I like to cut mine in quarters or you know, three quarters or quarters, just make sure that you take your ends off of these. Yeah, bring it down a little bit. So make sure that you just cut your ends off, off of both sides. Okay. And then you can just cut them into bite-sized pieces. Okay. cutting these and getting them prepared and then you can do your carrots and if you want you can put celery in there you can put you can put whatever you want in there really now if you decide to put your carrots or your um, your corn small corn make sure that you drain them and uh, and then if you want to cut them up you can do that the water chestnuts the same thing just drain them and uh, and then just put them aside okay so just keep going until you're done and once you're finished I will meet you back here okay now I've cut up my whoop, my carrots and my um, peas and I, oh, come on, focus, focus, there we go, come on, focus. And I cut up some onions and now I'm going to cut up my ginger, okay. Now um, you can peel your ginger with a uh, regular peeler or you can use a knife if you feel adventurous uh, but I just use a potato peeler just cut off all the nubbies Don't need a whole lot of ginger unless you like 
it, you know, pretty spicy. Um, ginger has a real kick to it. So. Uh, and that's all you have to do. Just peel it. Yep. The peeler actually works pretty good. Okay, and I just throw that roll away. Okay, and then you just peel, cut it into really thin slices. Cut it, cut it all up. Like that. Okay. You can cut it into you know small as you like. Throw that into your pot and let it boil with the broth. And do the same with the onions. Okay, now my my broth is boiling. So you want to turn it down. Okay. Bring over your vegetables. And your put in your ginger and your onions. That will marinate really nicely while you're doing all of your other stuff. Okay, so turn that down to around low and just let it do its thing. And then you're going to go and cut up your meat. Okay, so I've got my steak here and I'm just going to open that up. I'm going to take out one steak. Oop. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to slice this up pretty thin. Okay. So it's like, where are you? About like that. Okay. And just cut all that off. Okay. You can make them in bite-sized pieces. You can do it in slices. And I have Bailey down here just begging for it to fall. <laughs> oh. Okay. And you can turn it. And just keep on. And see how nice and thin that is. Okay. There we go. And if you want to cut out the fat, you can. Um, I don't, but you're more than welcome to do that. Okay, and you just continue to do this until you're done. And then we are going to fry this. Okay, now I've got my wok here and I've put it on high. So now I've turned it down and it, the pan's really hot. So you're gonna put your oil, your, your sesame oil in the pan. Okay, got your sesame oil. And you don't have to measure. You just swirl it a couple of times in there. <clears throat> and then you're gonna put in, I, I'm gonna put a bit of garlic in it. 
And you can put some onion in there if you want. And you're gonna put in your meat. Okay, and you're gonna wanna, I know it's loud. <laughs> But you're going to want to just saute it here. Okay. And just let it cook down a little bit. Okay. And this is where you can start putting in some of your spices. You can put a little soy sauce. If you have fresh garlic, I would use fresh garlic. So, put some garlic in. Put some of your five spice. You don't need a lot of five spice. Five spice is very potent. Then you're going to use your oyster sauce. And you're just going to put a little bit of oyster sauce in there. Not a lot. And if you want to, you can even put a little bit of stir fry sauce in here. And then you just mix it all up. And just let that brown. Okay, now while this is browning, you're going to want to put your carrots into your bowl or into your other pan. Okay. Sorry, you're going to hear life noises. George is in the kitchen. God help us all. <laughs> Okay, and then you can put your peas in as well. And if you have celery or whatever, you can pop that in there and then turn this up to medium. Okay, and don't forget to keep stirring your steak. Okay, oh, it smells so good. Okay, and just let that cook until it's, you know, almost done. Okay, so my steak is almost done. You can see, oh, doesn't that look good? It's still a little bit pink, and it makes that, when you have it so that it's just almost done, you don't get it really tough. It's just nice and, and soft and Oh, delicious. Okay, so then we're going to put this aside. Okay. And then we're going to get out another pot. And we're going to do our noodles. Okay, now that your water's boiling, you're going to turn it off. And you're going to place your noodles in the pot. And these are really long noodles. <laughs> so, and these don't take long at all to cook. And if you want to do something different, you can get pot stickers. And you can put those in your soup. You can put, um, they have chicken balls or uh, shrimp balls and stuff like that. You put that in your soup. You can do lots of different things. You know, get adventurous with your soup. Um, there's no rhyme or reason to it. You know, just have fun with it. Because you know that once it's done, it's going to taste really good no matter what, right? So... <clears throat> 
So yeah. So but put these in your soup um, like a couple minutes before you're going to eat it. The same with your bok choy. Now these noodles aren't going to take very long. So we're going to go over here to our soup. And our carrots and everything are just boiling away. And I think the carrots are getting close to being done. So open up these pot stickers. Get them ready. So now what you can do is you can take your meat and you put your meat into your soup and put the juice in too because that's going to give you some seriously good flavor. Okay. There we go. Okay, now you can put in your hot pot, oops, sorry, pot stickers or your um, beef balls or shrimp balls or whatever and, uh, and let them sit. These are already cooked. They just basically need to thaw out and warm up. Okay, so there you go. So you just push that down in there. There. Okay, we're almost there. So we've got your noodles, and then you've got your soup base. Okay, now you can get your bowls prepared. Okay, now what you wanna do is you wanna put your noodles in your bowl. Just don't fill it full of noodles because you need room for everything else, right? And then you put your, your, whoops, hot pot meat in. Now you're gonna put this in raw because the broth is going to, is what's going to cook it because it cook it's really really thin so it's going to cook really really fast okay and of course it's been thawing out a little bit since you've been doing all this right so you don't have to worry about that okay and then you put your broth over it Okay, so we're over here with our broth. We're just gonna take some broth and pour that over top of the meat. And you make sure that you pour enough on that's gonna cover it. Okay. And then you can see that meat is already starting to cook. Okay. And then you put in your tripe if you want. And I know a lot of people are going to ask me, what is tripe? Tripe is cow intestine. <laughs> So it's a very acquired taste. <laughs> okay, then you put in some sprouts. If you want to put in some jalapeno peppers or uh, some um, lemon or lime, you can do that too. And then you're going to scoop in all this goodness. Oh, looks so good. Oh wow, look at that. Don't forget to get some of your steak in there. Ugh, delish. And there you have it guys, your homemade pho soup. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'd really like to hear if you guys have made your own and uh, tell me what you think. Okay, talk to you later guys. Bye!